Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scout Help on Facebook. Okay, see this file right here? Well, someone had sent me this file and asked me if we could do something like this in Shortcuts a lot because I guess that type of file is um, what they're making up in, um, what's that called, Cell Studio? And oh yes, most definitely we can do that type of file. Um, now with that type of file, you'll either want to use a printable or two different colors of vinyl. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so let me find... Let me pause this because I need to find my dragonfly. <laughs> okay, so here I have my dragonfly. Let me try to make it as big as I can. We'll stretch it out right here. And you'll see me, I'm using the arrows instead of my normal thing over here. Okay. Now let me come in here. And you know what? Maybe I'll just use the knife here. Blow it up. Do some surgery. And uh, let's see, there that looks about even. Okay. You know, let's just take it back down to thirty five. Are you sure it's separating? Yep. Okay. Close that path. Okay. This one, and I need to close this path too. So now I have a top and a bottom, and they're both closed. Okay, so this will give me a definitive outline on top and bottom. Okay, so now this will be my one color of vinyl, whatever color I choose, and this will be my other color, and they will cut all the way around. All right, now I'm going to pause this and go find my other file I need. Okay, I found them, found my little dandelions. So I'm going to bring my little dandelions up here. Kind of put them where I think think I might want them and I'm going to change the color so I can see them I'll change them to a gray okay so I want them right there I may want to beef this up a little bit <clears throat> see if that'll help me if it'll cooperate Mm, that's way too much. So let's back it down to two and see what two gives us. And of course it's still not responding. There we go. That's much better. You want a little bit of a body on um, these finer things when you go to cut them out. Um, or otherwise they just end up as stringing like little rips and you want to give them some definition so that they show up especially if you're using HTV which is what I will be using this with okay um, and with these little blowing pieces of the dandelion I want a little bit more of them over here well let's see can I individually select them no I can't so I need to come up here to object and I need to click ungroup and now they're each individually available. So I'm going to come and grab this little guy because he's kind of hanging out there by himself. So is this little fella. And this little guy. And this one. And I don't really want them too bunched up in here. don't really want them too bunched up anywhere. 
So let's see, what's that look like? Well, let me try to move this one up. Move this one down. So just start kind of arranging these so that they're all fitting in and on what you're using. I'm going to rotate that one so they're not going in the same direction. Try to thin them out because you know the farther they blow, the more they thin out. But when you have your design up here, go ahead and place what you want inside of your main shape. Okay, I'm going to pick this one up, put it right here. This one I can move in here. And we're whipping right along here. Okay. Now I want to try to capture the head, all the head. Pull it up a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to take this and do the exact same thing. Pull it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I think that looks good, except for this one. I don't want it sitting right on that cut. Okay, so now, this is very important. When you use anything in this path menu right here, Okay, these. The, you only should have two items on your mat. Okay, and two items, well, I don't mean one wing and one seed. What I mean is a grouped object. Okay, let me get the library out of here. <clears throat> so, I want to pull this up here. I want to group the um, dragonfly. Okay, but let's put that to sleep for right now because I want to group this entire thing because that will then make it one object. Okay, so now let's bring the dragonfly back and put that to sleep. Put the dandelion to sleep. Okay, so let's grab the dragonfly and group that. So now we only have two items on our mat. We have our, right over here, we have our dragonfly. Oops, we have our dragonfly as one object, and we have our dandelion as the other object. Okay? So let's click on this. Oops. Object arrange. Send to the back. Okay. So that's what it'll look like. Now let's select everything. Come to path. And let's do a back minus front. And if everything disappears, go up and do a front minus back. Sometimes they get kind of funky when you do that. So it's no big deal. There we go. So when you have your object here, just like I did, okay. Now I'm going to come up here. Okay, good. It's separate. So there's my top and there's my bottom. Okay, and I will actually send this now. I'm going to come up here, hit this green plus sign, and click OK, or you can hit uh, send or enter. Going to come up here with this selected, come over to the layers to these bunch of lines right here and hit send to layer page or send layer to page and two okay so this is now ready to be sent to my stick that I just popped in so here comes all the security stuff yep okay so now I'm going to file export I'm going to find Gen Stick, change this to FCM because it just works a whole lot easier. Dragon Fly Dandelion. Okay. Now I'm going to come to my second page. I need to bring this up onto my mat. File, export already at my stick change this to an FCM I know we can use SVGs but just don't because it takes forever um, dragon fly 
dandy bottom and enter so there they're both saved okay so when you go to have your uh, items on here remember you can only have two items so even if you have 500 different things on here if you group them one grouping being the dandelions and one grouping being the dragonflies I was able to then capture it so that it ended up being only two objects on my mat and then I was able to do the back minus front to achieve this look okay so this is exactly like that file that she sent me that I showed you at the beginning and I have since deleted it from my computer um, this is the exact same look that you get so you can add as many things in here as you want um, it doesn't have to be all just one file you can add let's say if it's a football player you can add in a football and goal posts and um, pom-poms whatever you want just make sure you group all of that um, and then have the group in the other thing okay and if that front minus back doesn't work hit undo come back and do the front minus back it's the same thing okay guys if you have any questions at all you can come and find me over at scan and cut canvas and scalp help on Facebook I will be doing a camera portion of this um, I will actually be making this I may actually make this out of HTV and turn this into an embroidery slash HTV file <laughs> trying to kill 20 birds with one stone so thanks a lot for watching guys